friends, it's Minicorn, and it is time for us to prepare readings for Tajikistan for the next month from and about Asia Reading Project. If you are new, from and about Asia Reading Project is a project where we learn and celebrate the diversity of Asian culture by reading books about one Asian country per month. There are two prompts for each month. The first one is to read a book from the author of our target country. The second one is to read a book about the culture of the subregion of our target country. In this case, we're reading all about Tajikistan and Central Asia in June. If you are interested in more in-depth discussion of our project, you are more than welcome to join the Discord of the reading project. I'll leave the link to the Discord and also all the information you want to know down in the description box below. I've compiled a list of books that are from or about Tajikistan to maybe help you get some ideas of what books you want to read. But a usual disclaimer, I haven't and don't plan to read all the books I'm gonna mention today due to the limited time we have. This is just a list for reference. And I have to say, it is so hard to find books by Tajikistan authors since the country is fairly young compared to some other countries in our project. I've only found three books that in my opinion are a qualified to call books by Tajikistan authors, but luckily we have a lot of books by authors outside of the country writing about the culture of Tajikistan or the culture of Central Asia that we can choose for reading prompt number two. Now without further ado, let's dive into the books. Firstly, I want to talk about the three books by Tajikistan authors. The first book is called The City Where Dreams Come To by Gosafat Shahidi. This is a collection of stories set during the early 90s in Tajikistan right after it became independent and went into a civil war. It's about three different generations. It's a book about all the lost, all the injustice, and all the violence people experienced during the civil war. But it's also a book about surviving, about hope, and about aiming for the future. The second book is called Haramabad by Andrea Volos, translated by Arch Tate. This is also a novel that's set in the early 90s, follows the Russia's invocation in Tajikistan, um, after the collapse of Soviet Union. The title of the novel is the name of the mythical city where there's always joy and happiness and full of fresh water and shades. However, normal life gradually vanished when civil war rose around. This is a very powerful book that I've heard and also it's about the day-to-day -day people's life with some sharp insights. The third book in this category is already a little bit stretched. It is a book called The Sand of Oxus by Shadrini Aini and translated by John Perry. This is the first book of the autobiography by the author who is considered as the Tajikistan's national poet and the most important writers in the country's history. But because he was born in the 19th century, so he was actually born on the land of Uzbekistan. So I say it's a little bit stretch here and it is for you to, to decide if the book is qualified of a book by Tajikistan authors. As the nature of autobiography, this is a book about the author's life back in the 1880s. And uh, there are actually very few information about this book besides its author. So I want to credit a reviewer of this book who's called Harry Rutherford, who's apparently reading books around the world a few years ago. He wrote a very detailed review of this book and really bring this book to my attention. And I'll leave the link to the review down below. Now let's move on to the book that's set in Tajikistan or about the culture of Central Asia. First being Uncertain Light by Maria Mutinon. This is a novel that's set in the mountains of Tajikistan where a peace negotiator from the United Nations got abducted. So the story begins with the people around him, including a married woman who is also a mother of two, but she haven't stopped loving him. And also the negotiator's friends, supervisor, and the translator who has a secret that they cannot share. So with the hope of the survival of the peace negotiator faded, all of the people that I mentioned before and more needed to start finding a new way to live. To me, this is a book that sounds all about plot and the dynamic between people with a little bit of mystery attachment, so it's really interesting. The second book here is called Despite Cultures, Early Soviet Rules in Tajikistan by Bodokos Stasin Pakova. The subtitle of this book is pretty straightforward. It's a book about the strategies and policies of of Soviet Union with its building project in Tajikistan during the 1920s and the 1930s. Tajikistan is diverse ethnicity-wise, linguistic-wise, and also culture-wise. 
Soviet Union was planning to recognize all the differences between the different culture aspects, but also subsummoning them into one Soviet Union culture. This is a book that provides great insights of early Tajikistan history and also the influence of Soviet Union. Next up is a book called The Birth of Tajikistan, and the subtitle of the book is The National Identity and the Origins of the Republic. It's written by Paul Bergner. This is apparently another history book, an overview of the history of Tajikistan dated back to the 1917 when revolution in Russia first broke out. Then there's a book more on the politics side of things. It's called Tajikistan's Difficult Development Path by Martha Burrell Pakat. This is a book about the challenges that Tajikistan is facing as a country in the deep Central Asia, the domestic problems it's facing, the economic survivability, and also its relations with the neighboring countries such as Afghanistan. It's a book more about the leadership of the country and their policies facing all these challenges. Then there are three books I found interesting about different ethnicities of people in Tajikistan, first being Social and Economic Change in the Pamirs by Frank Bellas. This is one of the few books about the recent history of Pamiri people in the eastern Tajikistan. After the collapse of Soviet Union and the civil war in Tajikistan rose around, the people in the mountains, the Pamiri people kind of got ignored and forgotten. So this is a book that could be the introduction of their unique culture to us and about their development. Then there's a book called Ismaili Modern Globalization and Identity in Muslim Community. It's written by Jonas Stenberg. Ismaili Muslims are located in the Himalaya regions of uh, Tajikistan and also Pakistan as well as usual. This is a book apparently about their culture and how they are dealing with globalization. If you want to learn more about lives of ethnic groups in each country. I feel like this is one of the good choice for uh, books about Tajikistan ethnicities. The third one on this topic is Muslim Youth, Tensions and Transitions in Tajikistan by Katla Kharis. This is focused mostly on the young people in Tajikistan. After the collapse of Soviet Union, a bunch of young people get the first time opportunities to travel abroad from their homeland. And by this way, the country welcomed modernity and the changes of lifestyle. This is a book tackles on topics such as family life, education, dating, and marriage among young people in Tajikistan after it's independent. It's a book that paints vivid pictures of day-to-day -day life and also teasing modernity by comparing the complexity and traditions and also individualism and collectivism. This is a book that I'm personally very interested in reading. The last book in this video is a very interesting and a fun one. It's called With Our Own Hand, a celebration of food in the Pamir Mountains of Afghanistan and Tajikistan. This is a cookbook about the food in Pamir Mountains, which is very interesting because I feel like food is a introduction to the culture for a lot of us. And also there were some sentimental reasons that make me really really want to look into this cookbook is because I there's a Pamir restaurant near my childhood home. I loved eating there. I just they bring me the most joyful food memories. So I really want to get my hands on this cookbook and maybe try one or two recipes to see if I can recreate some dishes from my childhood memory. And that's it for this video. It is a little bit challenging to find book that's from or about Tajikistan but it's also a reminder to my Myself, I think of why we're doing this reading project is just to expand our reading horizon and read from underrepresented countries and learn about their culture and literature and all the good things. So I hope you find some useful information in this video and please let me know any of your thoughts about these books. Have you heard of them? What do you plan to read about Tajikistan if you're participating in the project? And don't forget to join the Discord and also say hi in the comment section down below. Thumbs up to this video if you liked it. I wish you happy reading, stay healthy, stay safe. I will see you in my next bookish video. Bye!